<laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it, it's in the water for sure. Something's in the water here in Grundy, Virginia. How young do they start? And they told me as long as they're potty trained. Head to the knee, keep the arm, feet the back. It's like these kids are bred to be wrestlers. You know, wrestling's a different kind of a sport, different kind of a mentality, and I think it really went well with the kids that grew up in these in these mountains because it's it's tough here. It's tough. It's coal mining. It's uh, hard work, and uh, those kids, uh, that's just a great recipe for wrestling. And they've made Grundy Wrestling one of the best programs in the country. We take pride in wearing the Grundy singlet. This hardware says it all. 23 team state championships, by far the most in Virginia history. I'm going to lift that chin away from his head. Does that feel good? Yes, so I'm just going to pop him off. Everybody always says when you're wearing the Grundy singlet, you always start out with two points ahead. And, you know, people see the Grundy singlet, and, and it's intimidating the Grundy singlet is just because the legs. Duck in here, let's go. Then the individual titles. Most schools are lucky to have a few state champions come through their program. Grundy has 77. Let's go. And counting. Good partner. It's kind of intimidating when you first come in here and you see all the names on the wall and you just see all the hard work that everybody's put in and you know you want to you want to do the best that you can for the program just so you can keep the legacy going. If I get my hips in here, if I pop in here, I should be able to get his hips off the mat. That's like a big paint or something. Peyton McComas is the next great Grundy wrestler. Has been since his freshman year, about 60 pounds ago. I put on a little bit of weight and was 182 junior year, and now I'm 220 this year, so I, I've been constantly growing. I feel sorry for the kids that have to wrestle him. I know that they fight him hard, but he's he's just, it's just leverage. You can't teach it. Hey! Peyton won a state title his freshman year at 6'2", 160. Now he's 6'5", 220. It's rare. Um, he's always been tall. He's always kind of been uh, the lanky kid, and now he's really he's starting to grow out and fill out, and he's just he's really turned into a fine young man. I can tell, you know, when you're warming up, people's looking at it's like, man, you know, he's tall. And uh, I get that all the time in turn. It's like, how tall are you? And I'm like, 6'5", and they're like, wow. He was looking for back-to-back -back state titles in his sophomore year, but a foot injury ended his season early. We just kind of got in a weird position, and, you know, my ankle, it, I just felt, I knew something was wrong when it happened, and uh, I couldn't do nothing. So I just had to forfeit that match, went to the hospital, and they said I had a broke ankle. Although he couldn't wrestle through the rehab, that did not stop him from getting in the gym. I remember I was, I was working out with a boot on in here, you know, just doing my upper body, you know, just doing everything I can, and rehabbing as quick as possible, and then just making up for lost time that next season and really putting everything out there. That extra work paid off, getting up to 182 and winning the state title his junior year. When I started my first tournament, I wanted to have an undefeated season. That was my, that was my one goal, and I accomplished it, thankfully, but... I just won that state title bad because, you know, once I knew, I mean, you can't win four, I mean, three's the next best, so, you, you know, you got to take what you get. When you get some setbacks, and I think all the good ones have had some setbacks a time or two, and they come back even stronger, and I think that's what he's done. Peyton is pursuing his third title this month. Then he moves on to wrestle at a Division I level heading to Gardner-Webb next year. When I was little, I always, you know, besides, you know, being a state champion and all that, you know, you always want to go off to wrestling in college and, you know, be in the big dance. So I'm just thankful for it and really, really glad I got there and really glad that, you know, I've achieved the goal. So now when I go there, you know, I want to become an NCAA All-American. So, you know, you got to you gotta set high goals if you want to get them. Three escapes and three turns. He'll be one of many from this school to compete at the next level, extending the greatness that this program has established in the last 40 plus years. And it's not going away anytime soon. You know, you want to go out there and you want to wear the Grundy singlet and rep the Grundy singlet to the best of your abilities. And it's an honor to be able to wear the Grundy singlet and go out there and wrestle. It's really uh, a wrestling town a year-round thing, and it's just kind of integrated. It's kind of woven into their character to want to do this. In Grundy, Michael Epps, News Channel 11 Sports.
He's got to be there. Let's finish from the mat now. Take him down. Finish him from the mat. Let's hand fight a little bit. Let's hand fight. Here we go. Working in there. Working in there. 